welcome back to our channel everything beauty xo it's your girl april back with another tutorial um so this look is prom inspired it's prom season so i decided i put together a look i decided to do a cut crease a glitter cut crease a glitter half cut crease let's try that five more times yeah yeah i hope you like it so if you like what you see guys keep watching <laughs> first and foremost we are going to prime our eyelids I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base. I'm just gonna wipe it around my eyes with my finger. And this base is going to help really bring the eyeshadow forward. Now normally I just use something like foundation, but because this look might have a lot of fallout, I decided to do my eyeshadow first. Set some of that base with a little bit of powder. I'm just using the remnants of the powder on my flat brush that I used to bake my face. For this look, we're going to use the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Guys, it smells like peaches. Our transition color is going to be Summer Yum. So I'm sort of just going to pat that over my eyelids. Next, we're going to go in with Charmed I'm Sure. And then we're going to deepen our lid and really go into the crease. Now the darker you go into your crease, the more defined your cut crease is going to look. As you're doing this, you want to put the dark color on the corner of your eye. At the end, you're going to smoke out the edge. Next, I'm going in with Tempting to go over my crease. The technique I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly outline it, and I'm just going to outline my crease. You want to create the shape that you're trying to go for. So at the edge, we're going to create a sort of cat eye. Now with my Morphe M222, just going to blend it in. So now the fun part, we are going to cut our crease with the Urban Decay and Naked Skin. Let that dry. You want to be very careful and make sure that this is dry before you open your eyes. That way you don't transfer any of the concealer above your crease. Now that that is all done, we're going to go in with the Makeup Forever Starlet Liquid. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to apply the rest with a concealer brush. Once everything is all done drying, you want it to look like this. I'm just going back into tempting and getting rid of this harsh line over here. Just blending it into the cut crease. Now I'm going to use Kat Von D ink liner to line my eyes. put the lashes on until um, my eyes are completely finished so we are gonna do my face so first I'm gonna go in with the Capriel roses and gold face serum so we're gonna use it to prep and prime our face so just sort of let your skin soak all of this goodness in now I'm gonna use the Becca ever matte poreless priming perfecter just on top of the serum I used I'm putting this specifically on my T-zone where I tend to get oily. This is just going to make sure that after a long night, my makeup is going to stay on. Now for this look, I'm going to mix foundations. This is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm just going to drop that. Now I'm going to go in with my go-to foundation, Too Faced Born This Way foundation in a natural beige. I'm going to put dollops of that on my face. I'm mixing these two foundations together because I like the consistency. I'm just going to use a flat brush and blend it into my face. 
Before I start blending in my foundation, I'm just taking my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to spray some of that onto my beauty blender. And what this does is it helps to blend your foundation into your skin. It deviates from making your face look cakey. And if you really press the product into your skin, it stays and it gives you that airbrush effect. Even wetting your beauty blender with a little bit of water will help to create that airbrush effect. Now I'm gonna conceal so that I can finish the rest of my eyes. So to conceal and contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm gonna use porcelain to highlight and conceal. Now I'm actually very surprised at how blendable these um, concealers were. I saw them all over the internet and everybody was using them and I was, was kind of just like, hmm. And uh, now these aren't in Canada, this is an American brand. Um, so your girl had to pay for shipping. And um, I wanted to order it online and I went into Urban Planet and I saw these on sale. It was like two for ten dollars. I was like, hey, no, no, no. I might as well try because I wanted to try them out. I wanted to see what the hype was all about. And these are amazing. They are so affordable and they work so well and it's just so easy to contour and highlight your face it comes with a brush at the end at the tip and they're very blendable they're not sticky it's not too thick so for all my canadians you can purchase this at an urban planet near you Now that my highlight is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. Now I don't do it at the same time. The reason why I highlighted my face first is because it's just easier to contour afterwards. You can always go over the spots that you want to highlight after you've blend this in, blended this in, but I don't do it at the same time. I find I, I tend to mix the colors in and I mean it totally defeats the whole purpose of contouring and highlighting. And what I'm doing is I'm blending with two different beauty blenders, one for highlight, another for contouring. That way we're not mixing the colors in. Going in with the RCMA baking powder. Now setting your foundation is key to um, the way your face is going to look for the rest of the night. Now, if you don't set your foundation or your makeup or your face, the heat from your face or the activity you might be doing um, will affect the way your makeup will look. It might slide off. Now I put it on top of the spots that I highlight because this will double up as a highlighter, you know, accentuate and bring some of your features forward and this is gonna do just that. And so now that my face is all done, I can finish the rest of my eyes. Just gonna go back in with Summer Yum, and then I'm going to just smoke beneath my waterline. To finish my eyes, I'm going in with Nectar. Now I'm gonna put it in the corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to apply lashes. I never wear lashes. I'm just gonna finish my bottom eyelashes off with the telescopic carbon black mascara. Going back into nectar, and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. I'm going to lightly give my cheeks some color. For highlight, I'm going to use the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten. You want to slay all day with your highlighter, honey. And this is the highlighter to do it. It creates that dewy skin effect. It's beautiful. It's like, when do you know to stop? Oh, I like. We're gonna put some on our cupid's bow, on my nose, y'all, on the bridge of my nose. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. Um, obsessed with this. Going in now with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Oil Lip Gloss. pretty much 
Okay, friends, that uh, concludes my video for this week, for today. If you like what you saw and you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Obviously, this isn't just a look for prom. This is something you could do, you know, a glamorous night out. Um, I just decided to label it as prom, and um, this was prom inspired because it is prom season. So for all of you out there who are going to prom, enjoy, be safe, have fun, and hopefully uh, this look inspires you to do what you gotta do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Bye!